Welcome to the Buy Trip Day 1. Hi guys, so we went on a vacation first to Dubai and then to Thailand. And we had lots of fun, so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you wanna experience what I did. So I took everything that I need and we were on our way to the airport. And just like that we were on plane to Dubai. We flew there with Emirates. The flight was about 5 hours long and it's very cool how they adjust meals depending on where you're flying. So if you're flying to Thailand they give you Thai food. You also get popcorn so you can enjoy watching movies even more. And off we go! <laughs> And just like that we're in Dubai. We arrived at around 1.30 am. First of all, they have an amazing airport. It looks awesome, like a palace. And apparently it is the airport with the most flights in the world. Yeah well, it is large. But then once you step out of the airport with air conditioning, you feel like you're in summer. Even at night the temperature doesn't drop. So we took taxi to our apartment where we were staying for a week. We drove past some buildings you will see in the future videos like Future Museum. Dubai looks amazing in dark with all the lights and cool or weird buildings. Also I just happened to notice advertising in Dubai. You have these massive and by that I mean really massive screens on the side of a highway and they just go on and on and on forever. So yes, we arrived at the apartment and it was currently nighttime. So footage is not the best, but you can still see the beauty of Dubai. We were staying in Dubai Marina, more specifically in Torch Tower. The building has a gym, pool and of course gorgeous view from 32nd floor. Yeah, very high. You get used to being high when you're in Dubai. If you want to see it for yourself, I will leave the Airbnb link in the video description. The next day, well, well actually the same day, cause we arrived at 1.30 am, I woke up and it's funny how you can't see the top neither the bottom of skyscrapers cause they are so high. So we went out to grab some breakfast, I got some Starbucks from the shop that was right underneath our tower which is great. The shop looked like every other but it had no price tags. Like anything you see, well, there were no price tags. You know how much you spent when you take it to the cashier and not before. So you just have to be careful which store you choose. So the plan for today was to go to the desert with a book trip. Link to our trip is in the description. The agency came to pick us up at 3pm so we still had some time left till then and we spent it in the pool. It's nice swimming there in the middle of skyscrapers, it feels different, you're above everything. And it's 3am, they came to pick us up at our apartment 
we share trip with two other people, but that doesn't matter, you can still have a lot of fun. I wonder where all this electricity goes. Also, everywhere where there are no skyscrapers or roads, there is just desert with sand and sand and sand and sand. We drove for an hour to the middle of desert. There were all different kinds of four-wheelers and buggies. You can rent a four-wheeler for a limited desert area or for an unlimited desert ride. Limited indeed, cause it is very big, so there is no big difference but the price. So for a limited area, 150 dirhams or 40 euros, and you get to ride it for 30 minutes. And for an unlimited area, to 40 dirhams or 64 euros. It was very fun driving around desert like crazy, although I found it dangerous, sharing the area with about 40 other people on 4 wheelers, and most of them might even be driving it for the first time. The age limit is 8 plus, so the kids can enjoy too. The tour guide gave us 1 hour free, and this is how I spent it. They just take you for a 40 meter walk there and back on a camel. The most exciting part is when the camel stands up. Then we drove for another 10 minutes and nobody was expecting what was to happen next. First, they lowered tire pressure so we can drive on sand. Second, the driver turned the music volume to max. And third, he just stepped on the gas. As the sun was going down, we stopped on the top of a dune to watch sunset and for sandboarding. The last thing of the day, the desert picnic. But first, refill the tires. And we arrived at the barbecue picnic place. So this is the last thing that we do on that trip, and food was also included in our trip, so again, no extra cost. Basically, in the middle of the picnic place, there was a stage with tables all around. So we sat down, they brought us some appetizers, meanwhile they prepared food. They made a lot of different foods and dishes. Anyways, while we were eating, the stage was pretty busy. Bruh. First, there was this crazy guy that played with... <laughs> 
Belly Dancer and LED guy or whatever he was. Anyways, enjoy the show. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss all the other fun stuff we did in Dubai.